you guys so i'm heading back home today it's friday um, i'm heading into the office as soon as i get to nashville so this is why i kind of was like let me just put something on that when i get there i can easily grab a lift go into the office i'm not wearing any makeup to travel with which is fine um but i will some moisturizer on when I get to the airport because I have my makeup bag. I didn't do much to my wig either because I'm like in and out, in and out. So, yeah. Um, it was nice. It was really nice. Trip was nice. Oh, can't wait to tell y'all about it. <laughs> okay. Watch. It's good. Ready to go. I just sit here and I just did my makeup. I did a spot conceal with the Sephora Best Skin Ever concealer and then I used the L'Oreal infallible foundation powder that everybody is using and I'm using that in the color Sienna the shade Sienna and I think it comes out really really well I pull my wig back and like a bunny bun um <clears throat> I'm using last week and I didn't show you guys this because I went to Sephora um is I got two things from Sephora. I got another Sephora blush, and um, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't, the readers, I had to push it, like, really far out to see the name, but um, Armageddon, I think it's the color, but it's like a, a, a plum color. I mixed the two together, and then I also put the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, the orange one. I put a little dab of that to kind of give that blend of that blush that I have. And then I also picked up a Sephora bronzer. I did. I picked up the bronzer. I'm finally wearing my wedding ring again because my... But um, this is the F Sephora bronzer and I actually like it. Um, yeah, I do. Let me kind of just open it up. So this is it. Love, 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 love this bronzer. So, mm -hmm. and what I've been learning, I, I, I'm doing my makeup more and more and more is that as I buy new products, as I've invested in new products, um, I'm finding myself like seeing things that match with my skin tone. Like this is like the first time in a long time that I've put on a base and it matches like with my neck. And, you know, doing a lot of skincare, like definitely a lot of skincare is what's going to help with your, your makeup. It's having good skin to put the products on top of. And I kind of had to fumble my way through learning that, but I did. I'm not putting any lashes on. Kind of did my eyebrow with like a powder, like an eyebrow thing. Usually I use eyebrow pencils, but I bought like a little dip. Um, I think, yeah, LA Colors. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's really pigmented and it's gonna last long because it's a lot in this bottle. I barely touched the surface on this one. So yeah, um, big went to get us coffee. I bought some new brushes from Amazon. They're $10 um, and they are really nice. Really, really nice. I haven't used this one yet. But I've used this one and I want to go back because I want to see if they got like the big powder brush 
um but i love this one this one is like a a nose contour brush so like i've actually like contoured my nose with it and if i'm too close to you guys it's okay i'm on my phone by the way and then i have this brush too so i've been using that but i'm still using this fix glow by uh, makeup revolution i got this from target so this is like a satin spray and it's like glitzy whatever <coughs> and um you know, I like K. Ollie, I think. I think. Okay. I like Woodsy Scents, right? Um, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. That's the one that I really like because it's like these musky scents. But this one, I feel like needs to be reduced with something because when I put it on, it's like really, really strong on my body scents. So, yeah. But the Versace Dylan Blue, oh, that's my favorite. Nothing itches my skin. Now, Kaylee doesn't itch my skin either. Like when I wear the perfume, they don't itch my skin, which is really, really great. And I like it. And yesterday I did some closet organizing. Let me, let me yesterday, show you Yesterday, cause I got some stuff in from H&M. And so I've been like, you know, since we are in this apartment, I feel like I don't have space for anything, but me, there we go. So I kind of organized it. I got some new pants from um, H&M. Um, these slacks, they were like $19. And then I got a pair of linen pants from H&M. And they are like, I think they were like $34, which is good. Um, I washed my coats. Uh, well, big wash the coats at the big laundromat. And so I hang those up. I love this pink shirt that I have from walmart it was like 20 bucks i believe um and oh let me show you i got to reach into my purse to pay your way and your homeboy's way and sometimes your cousin's way don't mind me i cannot sing but i bought this shirt from h&m as well denim is in and what i love about it let me get close so you guys can see the detail but it has pearled embossed buttons don't mind my fingernails i gotta put the nail on but yeah it has like a pearl embossed button and what i like about it is that it's snapped so definitely love it love it love it love it it's really nice fits good i got it in a large because i figured that i would fit over my tetas the way I want it to fit. And then two plus I usually wear my skims underneath it on my Yitty. Um, so yeah. And then um I got me a new bag. Haven't worn it yet. But I got me a new bag. <clears throat> yeah, I got uh, I got it on clearance too, because it was for $78. And I think I got it for like 20 bucks at, on the sales rack. Now, these pants, I love. I got these from Old Navy. They're the balloon. If you're seeing, you know, those uh, Mesa Margella jeans that everybody's wearing? This was like kind of a dupe when I saw it. And then I got it from Old Navy for like $9.99. Because I don't buy full price jeans at Old Navy because I feel like they're too overpriced. But then I bought a jeans from them too for like 10 bucks which I thought was pretty cute that I was going to wear with this, maybe with this, and this do like that. So let me show you guys what I'm talking so about. So like I said, I bought denim. some new jeans, and I went to Old Navy, and I was just looking around. This is a size 10. Um, <clears throat> and what I like about the jeans is, yes, it has a cutout, but then it has like, it's, I can still wear it in the winter time because it has this look to it. But then on the other side, what caught me was the patchwork. Like it has an additional piece of patch of denim right here. This side is of course, all exposing skin. But I thought like this was super, super cute. And um, I like it. It's wide leg, like kind of a mom jeans. What is the brand? It's called OG Straight Secret Smooth Pockets. And I love the fact that it has all those rips. And like I said, I got it for $10. 
at the Old Navy Rack because I find with Old Navy denim, <clears throat> which is like Gap denim, you know, they're all the same of whatever, but I find that um, <clears throat> it's not worth the price sometimes. Old Navy has gotten overpriced, and I think the reason Old Navy has gotten overpriced is because Gap has not been able to sustain themselves financially with their brand, the original name, right? Because it's Banana Republic, Gap, Old Navy. Um, that's the brand that falls under the, the, that house, is all those three. It has a little stretch in it, which is great. It's a two, I like a 2% stretch at least because, you know, I want to be able to, even though I'm wearing skims like most of the time or my Yitty cinch stuff, I still want to be able to have a little room in there. So that's the first jeans that I did get from Old Navy and it, I think I kind of could do something with that. But this is the other one that I was just showing you guys, the balloon pants. Oh God, I love this pants. Love the wash. <clears throat> Um, this I got in a size eight, but this is how it looks like literally it's like a balloon pants. Like it's a dupe. It's a super dupe. I can even cut it here if I want to, but I'm not going to do that to the pants because I actually like the way the pants looks and fits. And so it's going to be in rotation this summer. Um, cause I really love these pants so yes yeah, so i got lots of denim when i went shopping like literally when i went shopping the other day i got some more denim and then we got another denim i picked up like four i think three pants from old navy <clears throat> this one i wanted wide leg it was the same ten dollars as well this is a size 10 i like the cut the color of the denim Dark denim looks really well on me, but I find if it's wide leg denim, the that like balloon pants, that color actually complemented me very well because normally sometimes light wash denim doesn't really look good on me. And I find it's because when I was like heavier set, like in the midsection, it just made it look really weird because you got to know about the cut of denim. And I had to start learning that because I hated denim. And it wasn't that I didn't want to buy jeans because I have a lot of denim. Didn't even realize that I had so much denim jeans. The issue is finding the right fit. So that's what was my problem. So I got these. These are wide leg too. And then it has a lot of cutouts for the summer, which is great because I was thinking that I might stretch this some more and kind of like make this like, you see, like that. I haven't worn it yet, but yeah. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to do with it. Like, you could stretch it more, open it up more. I want to open it up more, make it, like, stretchier. I can do the same with this one as well to kind of give it the look that I'm going for. And so, yeah, that's what I wanted to. I wanted it to be very wide. Um, so, yeah, this is a size 8. Um, it's a little snug, but it's okay. And what I like about it is that it has tummy control. And when I say tummy control, I mean it's the buttons, right? If it's not one button, it could cinch in that midsection. So, that's one of the reasons why every now and again I would go over to Old Navy and I would find some denim and I would go through and I would look at it. So yeah, so this is pretty much what I wanted for this pants. And I could stretch this one too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stretch it, but <clears throat> definitely <clears throat> this was good. And look, this can go with this faux denim outfit. Yep. It's cold today, so I'm not gonna wear. And if I wanted to wear it, I think I could wear tights with it or like the, you know, the, um, Lizzo bodysuit thing. But yeah, it's a size 8. It doesn't have a lot of stretch, but it's okay. I also bought a pants from um, Forever 21, which was like a mom jeans. Um, and these were all on sale. If you are on a budget and you are looking for nice quality denim or even like, and you don't want to pay that big, big heavy price, why not go to places like Old Navy, Forever 21, and kind of look around and see what you get. Because in this, this is actually a size 10. But I feel like I get good denim. The last couple of denim runs that I made, I actually got great denim and I actually like them. And I've been wearing more and more denim. 
<laughs> the pants from Forever 21. Let me show it to you. It's called the Mom Jeans. Now, let me give you a story about this pants. I took this pants back three times until I get it right. The first size I picked up was the 28 because I am losing a lot more weight and I'm still, um, you know, I'm fitting in eight. It depends on what kind of jeans it is. So I picked up 28, would not, it came up, but would not button. Go back, got the 29, same thing. It's not the, <clears throat> the issue I realize is the pants has no give. Look at it. It has no give. This is a size 30. I had to go back and get a size 30. And when I got the 30, my it, it still was giving me a hard time to get up. And I was like, if I go up a 31, it's weird. Because even when I put the skims on, it still had like a little bit of room, about this much room in the back. Because it's sucking me in. And what, like I said, what I like about it is that it's that mom jean, so it gives you that control for the tummy. And that's when you see that, that is the reason why mom jeans are like that. So yeah, so this is from Forever 21. I wanted a denim that did not have um, slits so that I could actually wear this to work too. And so it just has a little rip here, but that's fine because I could always hide it with, um, you know, shirts and stuff if I decide to go in the office and wear jeans. Now, I don't normally typically wear jeans in the office because I'm not a jeans girl, so I don't. Um, and I did remember showing you guys this, so you, I think you saw that in the clip before. What else have I gotten new that I want to talk about? I haven't really gotten much new as far as like clothing-wise. I'm still going through that. Um, I picked up lots of sunglasses. Um, I haven't worn these yet. They still have the little piece of tag on there. But I got these from the Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. It's a budget boot. And it's summertime. And I want to swap them out as much as I can. I can go high end. I could go low end. But, you know, I think these are cute. I love them. They're pretty cool. Um, this one also is from the Dollar Tree. I know. Um, so, yeah. And then these are my other ones that are, like, a little bit more um, on the higher end side. Yep. I did buy a new pair of glasses, and then I had them in my bag when I went to my trip to Chicago, my work trip. And I actually broke them and never got to wear them. So, I'm on the hunt for them. They were by the brand Tahiri. Um, so, I'm on the hunt to get that back what else did i get um <clears throat> i think that's it for right now i do have uh um some other pieces coming too because i'm i'm excited for spring i went on to shein nitra b she did a haul a shein haul and she did some dresses and stuff like that i also um signed up with Scentbird through my sister because she likes perfume and you know i'm not a big perfume person so i was like i want to buy some perfumes but i don't want to invest in the big bottle yet it's it's funny because when i um when big gave me the versace dylan blue for christmas it's because i had already had the original the, the little sample scent i got from sephora and i was like oh wow this smells so good like it <clears throat> When I smell this, it reminds me of an older, mature, white woman back in the 80s and 90s, right? So, I love this scent because it has this, like, earthy, like, really, like, boss lady scent. That's what I think of this when I put this on. When I put this on, I'm in my boss lady era, of course. Um, and so, I, you know, you guys don't know, but yeah, I'm the boss lady. But um, yeah, that's my boss lady scent. So I do have some other denim that I did pick up. Nothing too fancy. You guys have actually seen me wear some of those. I did get a denim pants that I have not worn yet. It's one of my favorite. I got it from Nordstrom Rack. And it is by the brand um, Abound. I have the uh, one of the other ones, and I haven't worn this one yet. And the original price was $36, and I got it for like 20 bucks. 
I think it was from, or $12, it was from Nordstrom Rat, and which we're probably going there today. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to head out to Nordstrom Rack. Um, but I haven't worn this one yet. Um, it's a size 8. It doesn't have a lot of give. Um, so, she going to need some extra oomph to it. And But I like it. For some reason, I love their pants. Because their pants somehow, like, the fit, this, it's just so good. <clears throat> when the girls were wearing the big baggy wide legs pants with all the big tick rips in it and the cuts and the slits I saw the abound and I bought the other one and it fit really well and I actually like this detail here at the back so yeah but we're gonna try to get into it because it is a size 29 actually I might be able to get into it and what I love about it is if you've never worn abound pants go to Nordstrom Rack and search for them they're very affordable even at their original prices some of them could be expensive too they're they could range from like $60 to like $90, but um, I love this brand. And so this is one of my like go-to brands for denim. Um, <clears throat> and anytime I go in Nordstrom Rack, that's the first thing I go in that section to look for any abound jeans. I look for if they have any mom jean styles, if they have any skinny jeans and whatnot. I haven't seen any skinny jeans in the Nordstrom Rack, but I'm gonna go online and search for abound skinny and see what I get. I tried to buy the Abercrombie denim. I think it was Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, it was these denims that everybody was wearing last year. I tried to get those, but I didn't like the way they fit me. So I returned them and I had paid like over um, almost $200 for the two pants that I got. So I just returned them both um, because it, it was pointless to, for me to tr try to still invest and keep something like that. So that's a no. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and kind of say like, you know, I've been shopping for the spring. I've been um, trying to snag a few pieces. Most of my wardrobe right now. Oh, I can show you my Easter dress. <clears throat> um, I bought a dress for Easter um, and this was from Belks and it was a hundred dollars. Whenever I want an Easter dress, I go to Belk's or J.C. Pepe one though. And so this one was $98. And um, yeah, so this is my Easter dress. It fits me so well. And I got it in a size medium. And it is super cute. So this is what we will be wearing to brunch for Easter Sunday. So, yep, this is this my Easter dress. Love, love this dress. Can't wait to wear it for Easter Sunday. And, um, yeah, so it goes back up here in my wardrobe. Um, and then I, you guys will see some clips um, of me <coughs> when I head to Chicago. I don't know if you saw it before this little show and tell. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. And um, I'll see you guys back when we go shopping. Bye, guys.